Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Team Brothership. I am Mike, your host, your only host as of recently. No, I was I was talking to Paul and John the other day. We're gonna we're gonna do some big reveals soon, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll have regular stuff back. But anyway, right now we're watching another episode of my. Well, you're watching it. I'm experiencing it. Uh, another episode of my Chrono Trigger Let's Play. Uh, so last time was probably what's going to end up being my favorite episode of the recording. I, I really love um, Magus's castle. So we we attempted to help Frog avenge his friend and end the war with the Mystics. Uh, he was mostly successful at one of those and less so at the other one. Um, we all ended up getting sucked through a time gate when it was revealed that Magus did not create Lavos. He was merely summoning him from the center of the earth. Uh, so we all, including Magus, got sucked through a time gate. He disappeared, but we wound up back in prehistory and were rescued by Ayla. So now um, she's gone off to look for the hidden village so that the other humans and her can team up and fight the the reptites together. And there was apparently a big fire, so we're going to see what is going on with that. Uh oh, it's the sad music. Hmm, not good. Oops, I just remembered I didn't, uh... Didn't mute my phone. Could have been embarrassing. Hmm. Some philosophical arguments here. Ooh. I thought she rejoined us here, but I guess we gotta go through the other <laughs> dungeon first. So, yeah, this is the pacifist village. The hidden village where the humans who don't... Less pacifist as in, like, we don't want to hurt anybody, and more pacifist, we don't want us to get... Oh, I thought you could leave this way. Alright. I thought she rejoined here, but I guess it's in a little bit. Um, so Ayla is now taking the fight to the Reptites, and we have to go get her. Um, I'll show you something that I discovered. I, for like the longest, longest time, I did not realize you can pretty much press Y on the world map and just like swap out your game. <laughs> um... Yeah, had no idea that that was a thing um, for a long time. I mean, I've been doing it for a while now, but like, if you go way back, I want to check one other thing too. There's a few little roundabouts. I want to go check in on our buddy Speccio at some point because he, he has to change to his next form at some point and we do want to fight him when that happens. Uh, they also... Yeah, they also give you some better stuff fairly soon. Uh, I want to just check here. At some point, I don't think it's right now, but at some point... Yeah. At some point you can come back here and get some stuff, but I think we got to progress the story a little bit first. Um, so today we are actually doing another one of my favorite dungeons. It's not this one, though, but it's it's what will follow from this. <laughs> Just 
bum rush this guy. Did I kill him? Yeah, take that. Alright, if we kill those guys first... Uh oh That's right, they transform, and then they'll spray lava all over us. If we kill those guys first, they can't combo us, which is a good thing. got most of our heavy hitters in the party right now. Triple tech? Oh wow, that's the first one of those. So that's like the double techs where you, a pair of you team up. The um, triple techs are obviously, everybody teams up. Ooh. I might just blast these guys with magic, I think. Oh, let's see. Robo, uh, attack the other one. He's working over Chrono today. Mm. Okay, they're reasonably weak to physical, too. I can't remember. Some of the dinosaurs, like I said, are have some mixed uh, vulnerabilities. But yeah, we're heading to another one of my favorite dungeons. Not, not I mean, Magus' Castle is like top RPG dungeons of all time, I think. Uh, this one is not quite at that level, but is one of my favorite dungeons in this game. Can we sneak by them? Yeah, we can, but we should fight them. <laughs> all right, so the important thing is you not leave one of these guys wounded. Oh, wait. They have regular attacks, but they're... Um, their attacks when they've morphed that way are much more dangerous. They like spray lava all over everybody, which is not fun. He still got the uh, Masamune and still has the um, hero medallion, so he gets the extra criticals. This is the first time in the in the game that we've teamed up Robo and um, Frog. That's why. People learned a whole bunch of abilities right then. Mm, a lot of apes here. Again, we want to deal with this fellow first. That didn't seem like much damage. For some... Oh well. Yeah, these enemies aren't particularly deadly. We can polish them off with regular attacks. You get pretty good experience for everything. This dungeon's real fast. Uh, and then we will get Ayla back and be on our way to the more fun dungeon. Good armor. Who's, um... Hmm. Oh, we'll hold on to it for. Well, no, I'll just put on Chrono. There are some, um. Well, we'll talk to that a little bit for. Oh, here he comes. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna go at this guy first and see how that. I think he's gonna combo us. To respond. No, no, I guess not. As is usual, I can't remember anything. <laughs> We're just standing here in battle position facing rocks. <laughs> healthy. It's to fight in rocks in the mountains. Yeah, there's no boss or anything. I think we're almost done anyways. Oops. Little guys. <laughs> that was an odd way to make that move. Um, just a little bit about... Uh, Akira Toriyama's design work again. 
Every time, you know, you hear criticism about his stuff being kind of samey, I just always go back to this game and all, like, the cool, weird little monster designs that he did. Everybody should read Dr. Slump. It's, it's not necessarily the most <laughs> exciting manga, but you just see all the diversity of design that he can do with all of his weird characters. Like, you look at, um... Again, I'm going off on a tear. Like, yeah, the Dragon Quest heroes kind of look like the Saiyans from Dragon Ball, and some of the Saiyan characters kind of look the same. But you look at, like, a lot of his protagonists, like Goku versus Arale from Dr. Slump, uh, versus the little kid, the devil kid from Sandland, or Jiro from the, the Galactic Police thing. They all look pretty different. All right. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Frog's doing all the talking this time. It's getting all dramatic on us. Sometimes I feel like things feel a little off if we don't have Luca or Marl in the party to uh, be the adults. <laughs> Alright, so Ayla is now in our party for good. She is um, swapping. We want some healing. And Frog has his uh, group healing spell, which is pretty useful. So Ayla's in the party for good now. Something concerning up in the sky. Also, now we have a sky vehicle. Look at that. Uh, I mean, it's not super useful in prehistory because there's not really... I mean, where we want to go is right here. And there's not really <laughs> any place else to go. I don't remember. I think there's some islands around, but like, there's nothing to really do on them. Oh, this is the... Uh, the Sun Keep, that's right. There is one side quest you can do. That's much later, though. Oh, and now we just loop around again. Prehistory is, is kind of the um, section of the game that gets short shift a little bit. Uh, who has the... Is it her? Bad sign. That is a bad sign. Uh, it's this, this one you can heal up at. Yes. That's a full heal. And a quick save. <laughs> Unnatural selection. Oh, actually, let me check her gear for a second. Yeah, she's got pretty good stuff on. I think the power scarf's better than the power glove, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go do the Tyranno Lair. Which is one of the more fun dungeons and has great music. I mean, in general, this game has awesome music. Yeah, let's fight some apes. Uh oh. It's a little turd guy. Look out. There's two bosses here. Um, probably should have killed the. Yeah, he's gonna combo us. It's a bit harder. I think we need to soften these guys up with a little bit of magic. There's two bosses here. There's one, like, mini-boss, which is kind of a, a rematch. That should do it. And then, um... Nice. Nice, so I didn't even see what was the move that got learned. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go down first. One of the best music tracks in the game. Alright, I think we do need to soften these. Oh no, they'll... They'll go down just like anybody else. Gotta free the cave people first.
Yay, you're free, you're f oh god, you're trampling us. I think I thought there was a treasure in here. Uh, we want to go a little bit further because there's more prisoners downstairs. Yeah, so this is the, if I didn't make it clear, this is the Reptite headquarters. We're taking the fight to them. Yeah, pre hit. Whoa, that guy took a lot. Maybe I should have used the magic. Um, pr of all the eras, prehistory gets a little bit more of the short. Wow, these guys are a little tougher than the last batch. It gets kind of the short shift. There's only really one post, not post, but like late game side quest to do here. Um, as opposed to. Um, like the modern era. Uh-oh. Uh Do we have any? Ah, oh, they're all spread out. Uh, let's just soften them all up. <coughs> so this is Chrono's, well, I was gonna say his big spell. He does get a bigger one, but this should uh, soften, well, she would have killed him anyways, probably. Soften everybody up a little bit. A lot of MP, but we have so many ethers. Even though I've been a bit more liberal with my magic this time around, uh, I'm still like swimming in ethers and mid ethers. <gasps> it's Kino. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it's kind of a <clears throat> crappy jail system. It is a little bit, um, especially if you look at <laughs> RPGs of the era. No, don't go that way yet. All right, we'll catch up with him momentarily. I don't know why that switch doesn't work to just open this, but whatever. Another ether. Um, it is a little bit of an inversion of tropes in that the most brutish of the eras, there we go. The strongest party member is a woman. All right, I think we want to drop these people. So long. And then drop these people. And is it this way? No, forget. I mean, we have to go. Hmm. All right, these guys are going to spit lava all over us, aren't they? Yep. Damn it. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. They hit their own dudes. Oh, we just killed him, so so much for that. That's right. That's right. Those ones, um, the enemies, they'll hit they'll hit their own people to spray lava on you. Oh boy. Where are these guys? I think I wanted to go the other way first, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, it is kind of an inversion of tropes. I mean, never mind back then, RPGs in general, it's always like the, the dude is always the one who's like rushing ahead to fight and victory and the woman just has to stay be behind and support him with, oh, if only I was stronger and could help you. But in prehistory in this game, it's the other way around. They've got the female chief and like, Kino is kind of a loser. I think Spire is a pretty good move. He's racking up moves. Ah, mm, okay, <laughs> I always forget. Uh, one of these has a pretty good item. One of these is a trap that will drop me down to fight all those dudes that I just dropped. And if I open the wrong one, it like permanently blocks off the other one. I think left is good. Okay. <laughs> and we don't want to open that one. <laughs> I mean, we do if we wanted to fight all those guys. Oh, they're still gone. I thought that came back for some reason. Oh well. 
we have anything that can no, uh, not waste too much time. Uh, yeah, all right, never mind. We'll just fight after Chrono, before Chrono gets his face kicked in. Um, I have to say, I really like like the prehistory stuff in this game. I mean, the whole game is fantastic, but um, you just you don't see a lot of prehistory in JRPGs. The only other game that I'm really thinking of is is uh, Live a Live or Live Alive, um, which also has a super awesome. The prehistory section of that is one of the better portions of the game. Uh, let's heal up Chrono a little bit, just because... How many? Oh, it's only two. We'll heal everybody. Yeah, that's good. Oops. Well, I don't know what he thinks he's going to do by himself. Wow, not much. This is a pretty balanced team. T okay. This place is full of traps. <laughs> Just like this. Alright, we want to bust... No! Ah, he beat us to it, you bastard. That's gonna hurt. No, not too bad. No, he's not gonna last very long. We actually... Eh, that's a wasted critical, because that thing's not gonna... And he's probably gonna counter. Yep. Okay. Ouch. We need to do two things quickly. We need to kill that and then stun this thing. Now we can slap it around a little bit. Um, this room is all full of traps, and I don't remember where they are, so we'll be banging into all of them. Oh well. This is the upgraded version of that dinosaur from the previous prehistoric dungeon. Uh, there's a bunch of really good treasure in here, but it's all kind of blocked by traps and things. Revive, that's pretty... I think we want to go this way. No, we do want to... That's useless. Is it this way? Ah. Alright, I think it's... Nope. That's good. Ceratopper, perfect. Ugh. Yeah, I'll put that on him. All the old prehistoric gear is still holding out. Alright, we got Where the heck is this thing? I know there's, like, a secret way to... to at that time, buddy. That thing in the corner, we definitely want. And there's... Oh, I wish I could remember where that was. There's like a thing that you need to teleport yourself into it. Oh, I'm gonna run around for a second, see if we can get in there. Because I think it's something pretty decent. a way to get this. It is worth it. Nope. Is it this way? Nope. Wasn't that one. Curses. They've been everywhere. Or do we have to is always the stinker. Stupid thing. Oh, I know 
know there's a way to get this. All right, we might have to drop down because I, I cannot for the life of me remember how to get that. Perfect. He's way over there too, like a chump. Like most dungeons of this era, this is not super long. Oh, but what I was saying about Live Alive, that has a really cool, that's one of my favorite sections of the game is the prehistoric version. The, um, the new version of that kind of came and went really fast. Um, oh boy, we dropped him right on Ayla. That seems like that would cause some pretty significant spinal damage. All right, let's deal with this thing first. Um, I mean, the, the little guy, the avian rex, will go down faster, but, well, <laughs> if we load up on critical hits, but the pterosaur is the more dangerous by quite a wide margin. drops enemies. Oh boy, it sure does. <laughs> oh, no, damn it. Oh, I did everything pass backwards. Oh, and I'm just gonna get countered again too. You can see the difference that makes uh, that she had, I stupidly had chrono attack too. That's gonna hurt. But you can see the difference between how much damage she takes for fire versus how much damage Chrono takes for fire, because she's got the, um, the vest on. The ruby vest, which lessens fire damage, which will probably switch to those for the... Oh, okay. Tearing through things this time. And like I said, like, there's ways to avoid a lot of these fights. Uh, how are my items? Do? Oh, I've got plenty now. Um, there are ways to avoid a lot of these fights, but these guys are giving out pretty good experience. Um, so, why bother? Oops. Even the pterosaurs go down pretty quickly with <laughs> everyone super critically. These three probably have the highest crit rate of the game anyways. Oops. Dropping another one of those. quite as quick this time. But, you know, these little flying guys are not a major threat. There we go. I do like when they do the criticals, how they, they leap in, as opposed to sprinting over to their target. Falcon hits really good. That's one of the, uh... Oh boy. Hmm. Alright, he's looking right, so I'm gonna aim at the right one first. Ah, I screwed it up, though. That's gonna sting. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not that bad. Oh, actually, we probably won't even get the second one, because that's probably gonna kill him. <laughs> I just want to check one thing. I know there's a way to get that treasure chest, and I know it's something worthwhile. I just, I can't for the life of me remember how. If I start getting attacked by other guys, when I go back down there, I won't bother, but I want to poke my head in for one more try. Yeah, 
Yeah, Ayla's the real deal. She's kind of broken. She's super fast and hits incredibly hard. Oh, and we got a little level up before we have to fight the mini-boss. Alright, we don't have to fight everybody again. Uh, I know there's a way to do this. I've done it before. Is it... Is it this way? Some little trick. I know it. I remember it was like a spot you wouldn't think to check. Because I think that's a... I think that's a helmet or some armor. I think we really want that. There we go, okay. Yes, we do want that. <laughs> Although, well, not really, because... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, but that is worth it. Okay, I knew it was just like some little tucked away spot. Okay, I feel better now. I can, I can relax. Yeah, we're gonna get dropped another thing. That's fine. Maybe we'll get another level up, who knows. Now that you know how to beat these guys, they're pretty easy. Um, yeah, Live Alive, especially the remake, was a genuinely fantastic game. Um, I, maybe I'll do a Let's Play of that at some point. That'd be a fun one. I obviously don't have it <laughs> memorized to the degree that uh, some of these games are, but... Let's, um... Oh, again? Okay. Yeah. It's too close. There's not much we can do. actually talk to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> He's just kind of like, I don't know, I'm on break. Yeah, but he's not going to just let you go by. You do have to fight him, and he's... Proportionally, he's not that bad. <laughs> Alright, let's do... There we go. Yeah, these hurt. But, we thankfully have, um... Alright, this should drop his defense. He's gonna do that. Yeah, uh, no, we want this. Proportionally, he is not that bad compared to the other one, but he is obviously stronger. Yeah. 
I'm gonna drop a quick heal just to stay on top of it. Try and stay on top of things. Uh, I think he does do that electric release attack though, which hurts quite a bit. Uh, but I, I think too. Well, I don't know if Moral has enough tech points to learn. Yeah, that's gonna sting. Ouch. That's okay. We got Frog, we're good still. And it doesn't take that long to take this guy down. He's, he's just the speed bump at the moment. actual boss of this place has quite a bit more oomph to him. <laughs> Whoa! I guess because we keep dropping this defense. Because we're not doing those um, leap slashes at the moment. Exciting battle. He can't possibly have much more left. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Doesn't even really give us that much compared to uh, compared to some of the enemies that we've been fighting. I'm gonna buy some more shelters. I should pick up a few. Not that we desperately needed to use that, but I do want to be up at uh, full health for the next stretch. We're almost there. Just a little bit more to go. No, well, that probably killed it. <laughs> so we don't get his fun attack. in a hurry. Not for much, though. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh... Oh, well. And I think... One of those spits out an enemy, and one of them opens up the floor, so we actually do want to go this way. That should open our way forward. Mm, boy, right on Chrono. <laughs> Standing there bellowing at the sky. Why not? There we go. Easy peasy. How closer? Cause oh, okay. Let's not let's not muck around. Let's just deal with these things. I want them stunned so they're not spewing flames all over us. Lightning 2 should keep them both occupied for long enough that we can kill them both. Yeah, this is a pretty well-balanced party. My favorite is still um, Chrono, Ayla, and Marl, but uh, 
Yeah, she's relatively close to a level up, but I don't think she's gonna make it. There he is. We found you, you bastard. I think we know the answer. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Very confident. Another Ceratopper and okay. I'm gonna mix around my gear a little bit here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Ayla's the sturdiest, so... Alright, I'm gonna put... It is a little bit of a downgrade, but... Um, I think it will pay off having these ruby vests equipped. As you will see. This is a pretty fun boss fight. That is a big sprite. <laughs> well, there it goes. Alright, this is it. Showdown time. So the first order of business is killing Azla. Azla is a problem until we get rid of him. Or her. I can't remember if they don't really. I feel like Azla and it doesn't matter. That didn't do much damage. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is why we have the Ruby Vest <laughs> on. Hold on, I'm gonna just take a swing at. Uses psychic powers and it hits pretty hard. I'm gonna take a swing. I thought you were weak to lightning. All right, let's try this then. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Yep. There we go. All right, so just magic then. That's fine. Doesn't have much of anything that's gonna <laughs> help with that. Azula does not have a lot of hit points, so. But we have to get rid of him or her before we can deal with. Um, oh. I think he heals with that. Whoa! Okay. God, how hard that hits. Alright, frog. You gotta <laughs> recharge yourself so you can start healing. Well, this is one of the reasons why you, uh... Moral is a little more useful. But once, uh... Once we actually get Azla down and we can start the battle proper... Then we'll be <laughs> glad that that uh, we had frog instead of uh, well. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just talking out of my ass. An antipode would be really useful, but say la vie. Maybe I'll fire off a lightning too, just to see how that goes. Eh, not really worth that much more than regular lightning. Come on, alright, we got him. Take a little bit of damage. Now, 
We just have to kind of pound on this guy for a few minutes. Ah, oh, we got hit with the, that's right, the breakdown. It causes some issues. There's not much you can do until he uh, decides that he's ready to fight. All right, here we go. And we want to try to deal as much damage as we possibly can as quickly as possible. Because he is going to start counting down, and that's going to really hurt when he finishes. Yeah. We want to make sure we time... Uh, He's definitely going to finish. <laughs> we want to make sure we time Frog's heal so that everyone's at close to full health when he reaches zero. Cautiously optimistic we can get him before he does it a second time, though. Yeah, because I, I don't think we'll get him <laughs> before he completes it at least once. next time. Should be able to top everyone off. That stupid Azla non-poison spell that he did. The Ruby Vest should keep us relatively safe. Not too bad, but definitely would have been pretty rough if uh, we didn't have those on, because that damage would have been doubled. I don't know if his defense goes back up. Yeah, it did a little bit. Alright, we'll just pound on him again for a few minutes until he goes back into his uh, appropriate mode. I'm not going to waste any of my, like, good moves or anything on him. At least we're dealing more damage than we were before. Wear him down a little bit. Ugh, that's going to hurt. He was going into his thing yet now. He's chipping away, chipping away. He's taking a sweet time. Oh, there we go. Okay. We should be able to get him before he finishes this time, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Quite. 
Oop, we got him. All right. Good job, everybody. Good teamwork. Kind of a weird death animation. Oh, there's poor beaten Asla, and he gets the sad music too. Share the bond of warriors. <laughs> A little bit of sour grapes. This is a cool shot. A little bit of mode seven. So there it is. There's Lavos coming towards the Earth. Introduced that they speak a different language. Hey, it's Kino. You brought the pterodactyls, so we're not gonna die here. Time to skedaddle. Trying to be merciful to her fallen foe. No. Well, that's the end of Azala and the Reptites. They're gone. And I think, in fact, uh, there aren't any more dinosaur enemies either. I think that removes all of the dinosaur and reptile enemies from prehistory. I could be misremembering that, though. Well, everything exploded. I mean, if they had, if the reptites had won and then Lavos had landed right on their lair, that seems kind of crummy, too. Yeah, we know now. <laughs> There's our gang. They're blue dots. You bet. All right. <sighs> so there it is. Quickly save. ruins. Time gate. All right, let's go. I'm gonna switch my party around a little bit though. for now. <laughs> my, my dream team. I still always kind of subtly drift towards having these characters in the party. Alright, in we go. Oh, let me switch gear around. All right, we don't need the fireproof stuff anymore. Oof. This looks like a pleasant era. I'll wander around for a few minutes. We can't go in here yet, because it's not open. 
That ladder will be down later. Interesting Skyway contraption. All right. So we're in some weird floating islands. <laughs> I think we can open these books. There's an order that we can open them in to get stuff to happen. This fellow looks familiar. Destiny. <laughs> right. So this is quite a change. The elemental weapons. That looks familiar, right? I think we've seen a pyramid like that someplace before. Another Masamune type character. Yes, I do want to buy some things. I haven't spent money in like forever in this game. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, who's this fellow? Sounds a little familiar, though. <laughs> Boop. Ayla's a lot more uh, accommodating of weirdos. All right, there is a secret door here, and I gotta remember what order we open these in. Not that order. <laughs> and there's only a couple ways we can do this, so they tell you later the order, and you can always come back and do it then. There we go. Uh, is this the one where we have to fight a guy, though? Mm, do we have Falcon Head? <laughs> We have Falcon hit, I'll do this, otherwise we're gonna get killed. Okay, we'll do this then. Because we gotta fight this guy, and he's a little on the tough side. It's the new! Uh, where are you, Falcon hit? These guys fight pretty much just like the new from before, in that uh, all of their blows drop everyone to one hit point. So as long as you can keep healing up, you're fine. But if you get caught in, you know, these guys are gonna kill us. Uh, who 
lose at one hit point. That should take care of them. As long as you have more than one hit... you have more than one hit point, you'll, you won't die. So it doesn't matter that he's wounded. Just gotta get off one more falcon hit and then we win. they don't suddenly gang up on everybody. That's good. No. Alright, I think we got him. So yeah, we travel through this gate and there's this weird few... Whoa! 90 tech points! That is phenomenal. Hey, a magic tab and a speed tab. We haven't picked up tabs in a few episodes. I think we can read this book. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> so there's somebody named the Guru of Reason who was supposed to be here. Yeah, we haven't picked up tabs in a while. Alright, give that one to Marl. And actually, I'm gonna give the speed tab to her, too. Should probably save those for Robo, but whatever. So that's that. I somehow went over an hour, even though there was a perfect stopping point, but... I just want to pop through this next gate. Alright, so I've gone far too long already, but we found these mysterious floating islands uh, at some point, 12... 12,000 BC, so after prehistory, but well before the Middle Ages. Uh, and there's, there's something going on here. Lavos has called us to this period, so we will discover at least some of the truth of that next time. But until then, I have been Mike with Team Brothership, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you real soon.